Hey guys, Smith City here for Smith City Product Reviews. Well, what do we have here? <laughs> We're here with my oldest brother, Simon's uh, homebrew brown ale. So, uh, we'll just get it open and I'll sort of talk a little bit about, about it. A little bit of a little bit of smoke on that as it opened. Ooh, smells smells good. Pours a bit thick. Heavily, heavily carbonated. Very heavily carbonated. I'm very intrigued with this. Simo. So, as you can see there, uh, which I think it's just more so uh, the, the, the sort of heavy look of carbonation would also be to do with the fact that I've just washed this glass and so a little bit of water inside has probably created it to look extremely more carbonated than what it probably is, but it, it still is pretty heavily carbonated. So, two finger head. Um, it looks quite, uh, quite foamy, but the big, big bubbles, so that'll go away pretty quickly. I'll have a sniff for you guys. Biscuity, bready, malty. Uh, I think I'm gonna like this straight off. Straight off from the smell, I think I'm gonna like this. So um, he used a Cooper's kit. I'm fairly sure. He yeah, he used a Cooper's kit, um, and there's a little bit of a backstory with this particular um, batch is that he um, had a coffee pod uh, malfunction in his coffee pod machine and it like punctured it but it couldn't be reused so he chucked that in there and it was obviously only one so I don't think it's going to make that much of a uh, it's not going to create that much of a fla flavor profile with this brew um, but still not bad for having a bit of a, a dip with experimenting there, Simon. So, smells fantastic. He thinks it's, he didn't check this one, but he thinks it should be around 5%. So, get into my pelican like mouth. Mmm. Some layers. Some layers there. It's very drinkable. Straight off the bat, it's very, very drinkable. Um, the, excuse me, just, I'm going to have to go further in, further into this. It's a, yeah, it's a very interesting constructed beer. Not as malty as I would like a brown, brown ale to be. But it's there. It is your sort of biscuity, bready notes. Then on the back end,
Hmm. It's very nice. It's very, very nice. And obviously, him being my older brother, um, just like all my other reviews, I give an unbiased opinion. So if it was shit, uh, I'd be letting him know. Just like I tried when he uh, created a really good uh, um, VB replica, which I'd choose that over VB any day. Uh, but he also created a lager and it had a bit of metallic taste to it and both me and him knew it so he didn't really care too much when I let him know that because he already knew it but if I reviewed that on the channel I wouldn't have just gone oh nah it's good just because he's my oldest brother if it was shit I'd tell him and if it was shit I'd tell you I don't think it, it's I don't think it's made that much of a difference, but I reckon that coffee pot on the back end it's just creating something. Yeah. Definitely on the back end, I think that coffee, coffee pod that he obviously broke open and put it into the brew, I reckon that has created some sort of coffee element to the back palate. It's it's very like, it's very like minuscule, but it's there. And it's interesting because the back end is really refreshing on the palate. Um, but it's refreshing, but also just that slight coffee taste with like a carbonating freshness Because as you can see, obviously now that the uh, water in the glass is settled and the drink has settled a little bit, you can still see how heavily carbonated that is. Um, it is a quite a sessionable brown ale. Um, hmm. Um, as I go further into this review, I just want to say massive uh, thanks and shout out, re shout out to uh, Gavin um, Wasto. Absolutely loving your, your reviews, mate. And love the fact that you pump, pumped up my tyres in your last uh, Hawker's review. Some of those jokes, mate. Like that zipper joke. <laughs> that zipper joke. <laughs> oh, I loved it. I loved it. I may as well, may as well tell it. May as well tell it. So what... <laughs> What hold, what what has twenty six teeth and holds the holds in the Incredible Hulk? <laughs> My zipper. <laughs> oh, I love it. I absolutely love it. So love your love your work, uh, Wasto. And I, I love that uh, you've uh, been watching my videos, uh, commented on a few. And loving the fact that I'm doing the same with yours. So, fantastic. And you never know, mate. If you bruise, if my brother bruise some more, maybe uh, maybe I'll be a sponsored uh, Wasto video. You never know. So, I've got a, I've got a fair few beers in my fridge in terms of buying any more. I don't have the ability to, so anyone watching the channel, if you want to sponsor a particular review by by sending one or leaving one on my doorstep or, or whatever, anyone that knows me, feel free. 
just for the time being, when I can get my finances back up. Um, but I've, I've I've got a I've got a fair few. I've probably got one, two, three, four, maybe five, six. I've got six in the fridge, so I've got still a, a few to do before I run out. Cause, cause this is a big bottle. It's a long neck. Feeling quite gassy. Obviously, I had dinner not that long ago. So I'm going to try to remove myself away from how I'm feeling internally. At the moment, I think it's doesn't. It's not anything to do with the beer. But that's that's what it is. It's pretty nice. Like it, it is. It's pretty nice. Um, in terms of if I'd drink that over his VV replica that he made, I'd probably be choosing the VV replica. Like, oh, I won't, I won't give it a rating because you know he might make another batch and then I can actually review it on the channel. But in terms of, um, in terms of this. <coughs> That have sediment in it. It's very hot. Yeah, it's yeah, it's got yeah, it's got sediment in it. Not too sure. I'm gonna try to do this without <laughs> pouring liquid on my lap. But yeah, that's got sediment in it. So drinkability is pretty good. I think if he continued to work on that particular recipe and he played around with it a bit more, um, he could bump that up. He could bump that up in the rating uh, rating category. And probably, so yeah, drinkability is pretty good. It it is quite a refreshing, easy drinking. Brown ale. The aroma, the uh, the aroma of it got me excited. It really did. It really did. Probably going to give it a seven point five. It it is a pretty good uh, go at at a brown ale, and um, obviously, I I think that's probably the first lot lot of brown ales he's ever done. So to on your first ever brew or want like the second or third time you've done it i think it actually is the first time you've done it i don't want to lie but i think it is to be able to push out a beer that's 7.5 against some other breweries that i've drank other beers that i've drank from other breweries that have been working on their craft and they spend all their time on creating um a, a drink is an absolute fantastic job so, Simon, absolutely amazing stuff. Happy that I'll, I got to review this on this channel. Before I go, I, I feel most brown ales are quite heavily suited towards uh, colder uh, nights. But I could see this, I could see myself drinking this actually on a hot day, like on a really hot day, and it, and it being refreshing. So that that is a really good quality um, of, of this. I suppose maybe that's maybe another reason why I gave it a lower rating than like eight, is because I like my brown ales to be sort of skewed towards something. And... Um, I feel like this is not skewed towards it, but that, that's that's fine. That's personal preference, you know. At the end of the day, it's just personal preference. It's obviously raining, and it's cold. It'd be very interesting to see if I actually had to try this on a hot day, like on the deck, 
would I actually have given it a higher rating? Maybe. Maybe. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there and finish the rest of this off camera. So I've got uh, two more beers uh, off uh, Brit, who sent me some beers from Canberra. Um, I'm going to sort out the return exchange this weekend. And um, yeah, I will catch you on the next one, guys. Cheers.